Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Build a Zoo where I wasn't quite ready for this. I was very busy moving our graveyard and making sure that it was going to look quite nice when we just had a flash flood. The river has broken its banks resulting in a flood of, bi of biblical proportions. A lot of animals have been dislodged. Can you fund a rescue and then look after the animals we save? All the extreme weather feels like the results of something. I'm sure it wasn't like this when I was a child. Of course we'll take in some of the animals. Oh my goodness, you guys. So, oh, monkeys. You guys, we're about to take in a whole flock of monkeys and I wasn't really ready for that, but here we go. So we don't want to keep them in this grass enclosure forever. Uh, however, they're inbound. Monkeys incoming. All right, let's go ahead and let's get ourselves a tropical exhibit built for them because I'm pretty sure that's what the monkeys are actually going to need. And I'll try to make it big enough. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're about to have monkeys. We'll move them as soon as they arrive. All right, let's see. We'll make sure they have plenty of water. Um, and then let's go ahead and add in. Oh, we have the big rock shelter now, by the way, which actually looks really cool, but this is a perfect place for the mossy shelter. So I'm very happy to go ahead and add that in. And let's grab all of these monkeys. Look at them, you guys. We just might be able to start off a special monkey experimentation zone. Normally I don't like monkeys, but these ones are really cute. Uh, like monkeys, they kind of, they're the one animal that kind of spook me a little bit. So that's what I mean by I don't like them. I do like them, just they, they kind of, they're just a little bit, I ha monkeys and I have an interesting relationship. That's all I'm saying. All right, meanwhile, let's provide them with some nice elevated places that they can sit on to kind of like see what's going on in their enclosure. Um, and then we can give them like some large balls to play with and we'll put in a scent marker that I will also go ahead and put like behind a tree so that we can see that. And then maybe we'll give the monkeys a trampoline. I think that would be kind of fun to see. And a couple small balls. There we go. And hopefully that will make these little monkeys happy because they didn't ask to go ahead and like lose their home in some sort of flash flood caused by dramatic climate change. So we'll put this vine tree in here and maybe a couple pieces of bamboo in just a second and some mushrooms. Yeah, let's get some cool mushrooms in here. Oh, I like it. There you go, little guys. We might have to expand their enclosure because I worry by adding all of these things in, we've made it a little too small. But we'll check in on that in just a second. All right, maybe a hibiscus or two there. All right, how are you guys doing? Let's get their diet fixed so that they have some, some better food. We'll take away the blended pellet, add a bunch of bananas, add some seeds, add some fruit. Oh, fruit's where the real secret is. Okay, and then we'll... Go ahead and we'll remove a bunch of the blended pellet diet and add, okay, they don't need more fruit. In fact, the fruit in their diet isn't really moving the nutrition very much. I'm watching the nutrition meter, hang in there. All right, one, two, so they need about 20% fruit. How's the bananas? Bananas aren't really moving the nutrition very much after 20%, or the seeds aren't. Bananas. 22, 23, blended, blended pellet. Okay, so the nutrition is, is better than it was. All right, they're underfed right now. There we go, a little bit more banana. There, all right, let's go ahead, make sure that they have all the things they need. Hopefully they will be fed soon. And yay, look at that, you guys! We just got in a tropical monkey exhibit just like that. I did not really expect that to happen so abruptly, to be completely honest. Uh, all right, so now we need to make it so that guests can like come and see the monkeys over here, which I think is really cool. I wanna build another balloon shop back here so that people can come and start seeing like our Savannah, quote unquote, lions and all of our monkeys. How cool is this? I wasn't even ready for this. I was busy moving the graveyard, but you know what? Let's celebrate with what we've got. All right, let's put in... Ooh, a recycling bin definitely needs to go over here. Can't believe I don't have one already. Let's see, where could I put a recycling bin? That actually... I wonder if, like, I can hide a recycling bin behind a big tree. That might be kind of cool. All right, let's put one there. And then I'll put another recycling bin over here 
to make sure people have enough space. Look, and these shelters provide shade for people. How cute would this be to let people like walk into so they can come and see the monkeys? We'll put one on either side. There we go. And then we'll get some nice grass down here. Here we go, here we go. I've been meaning to come in and kind of make this area a little nicer for a long time. This is a good excuse. And then we should probably use this as an excuse to come and swap out the animals that we're trying to like specifically breed for. Because I haven't been able to do that in quite a while either. I've been too busy with the geese. And we now have fully mapped the goose genome. I'm still so proud about that. All right, so let's see. Get some of this covered up. Nice. The vet is coming to see how the monkeys are doing. We could have dirt or we could have pale mud, but I, I don't want pale mud. Oh, and here we go, the cute little log path. Oh, I think the log path around the monkeys would be really fun. All right. And then we'll let people walk down the log path over here to a balloon shop in just a second. And then we'll have them, yeah, walk past. There we go. And the monkeys are being fed properly. Look at all those fruits. I don't think anyone could have complaints about that. There, look at that. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna put in, oh, Aztec plants would be really nice. I want the vine tree kind of like hiding this area a little bit. That's what I was thinking. And then maybe even some bamboo sprinkled around the place to make this really nice. And then I wonder if I can get some of the wood decking in between the logs. That actually looks kind of cool to like put the wood decking. Can I change the direction it faces? I can! Ooh! Do I want to do that? I think it, I, I actually think it looks nicer facing up and down. There we go. And then we'll put that in and some grass behind. Okay, gotta put grass down first if you're gonna put that down, got it. Hmm. Yeah, we've got a lot we need to fix <laughs> about some of this area so that it actually matches. It's just absolutely chaos right now. But I like the I like the vibe that we're putting down. All right, log path. There we go. There, nice. See, people can just come and walk the little log path to come see the monkeys and whatever we're currently trying to crossbreed right now. Excellent. Oh, and we need to start building the subway so people can get like from one edge of the, the zoo to the other. So I do want to unlock a bunch of those subways. Uh, but for now, where's my balloon stall? There's my balloon shop. <gasps> what? I can't fit my balloon shop in here. No, no, we got this. We got this. Let's go ahead. We're going to move the lions over by one. Then we can move the hyena over by one. No, no, I don't want to change the shape. I really hope the hyena have some babies soon. We might have to put them in the breeding center. Oh, and I definitely need to get them some more water. They just popped out of their water spot. Hang in there, hyena, I'm coming. There we go. Our poor zoo looks so chaotic. I am so sorry, friends. I am so sorry for what I am inflicting upon all of you, but I'm doing my best to try to make it look somewhat nice. I promise. We're, we're getting there a little bit better now. If you ask me, maybe, like if you squint, I'm just so grateful you guys, you guys put up with all this to be honest, thank you. It makes me so happy. All right, let's see, let's come in and we're gonna get this balloon. Where is my balloon shop? There we go. All right, balloon shop, there you go. Hey, this person's got decent politeness. There we go, we'll go ahead and hire that person for a balloon shop. And get the log footpath down. Ta-da! We should probably have more tropical stuff over here because I think it'd be really nice to have a bunch of tropical exhibits that sort of surround our beautiful conservation center. But I do think that it's, it's fitting to go ahead and leave the lion up here for now. All right, so now we've got all of this pathing down. I can't help it, I want grass everywhere, so we're just gonna go ahead and fill this in, because it's been a while. And I think what we should go ahead and do now 
is actually celebrate the fact that we have some creatures waiting to come out of the crisper. Because <laughs> we've been slicing these jeans the whole time. We've just been distracted by the arrival of like, employ more animal keepers. Oh boy. All right. They're not able to complete what they need to do every day, which means we need to, we need to improve our efforts there too. We have a lot of research points. I need to go ahead and snag. And I need to start getting more money from people. <gasps> we should go ahead and increase the ticket prices real fast. All right, ticket prices are now gonna be 24. Transport? We'll, we'll look into transport and improving transport in a little bit too. All right. Chaos, but we have monkeys. So that's a good kind of chaos, right? And we have a cute little balloon shop. Let me get more grass down over here. And maybe what we'll start doing, friends, is instead of me trying to like pick one path and just like barrel our way down it, maybe we'll start picking an area, just like one area. And we'll just work on that area until it looks somewhat decent. Cause I think that'll, that'll, that'll make it feel less chaotic. And if it feels less chaotic, we probably will be able to keep up with everything a little bit better. All right, let's, do we like these bold squares? I kind of like the bold squares. Kind of. Hmm. Yeah, I like the bold squares to go with the savannah. Bold squares for savannah, it is. And then maybe we could put in a small amenity back here. Oh, hey, we don't have many restrooms, do we? Hey, look at that. This restroom actually fits perfectly. Yes. Okay, that actually worked out really, really nicely. I, I love the look. This is what we need to do. Just kind of tidy up and complete some of this. And then we were thinking about getting another conservation center that we could flip and put where this breeding center is, but we kind of need this breeding center. All right, let's return to these bun buns. They're, these, these bun buns are trying to breed for these ones. So let's actually have infinite breeding. We have hyena. Oh, and we do have the monkeys. Pregnancy probability 24%. Okay. What is the pregnancy probability? Seven on the hyena? How do you improve that? Wow. Let's go ahead and we'll try breeding a couple of the monkeys. Oh, the monkey is already expecting a baby. Woo! Let's actually try breeding the hyena for a little bit then. Inside of the breeding center because that might give us a better result. And then how are we doing? We need to return a bunch of the animals in the bunny zone. Um, oh, and we can potentially breed one of the last unknown rabbits. Yes. Oh, there's a chance to get a new one. Okay. And otherwise, I think we need to breed some of those ones. All right. There we go. And then manage. Yeah. Breeding. Good, good, good. All right. Phew. Thank you guys for your patience. I know I'm a little bit like a little bit over here, a little bit over there with what we're doing right now, but I'm really happy to finally be tackling some of our projects. Let's get the crisper going. Crisper should always be crisping. So first things first, our raboose. It's another raboose. I just love the raboose. I have to always have some good raboose in here. Wait, why are the, rab why are the raboose a threat? Wait, who's a threat to the raboose? Is our Raboose a threat to the other Raboose? Who's threatened? Hang on, cohabitation. Which Raboose is threatened by who? Oh my. Did I just add in like the most ill-tempered Raboose ever? Okay, there's a little bit, there's a mild threat level, but they, they should be okay. I know they all look a little bit odd, but they should be okay with each other. Uh, and then we also have a brand new animal with our snake rabbit hybrid. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know if it can go in with our, our duck hybrid. Let's see. It's a rabbit. Wow. Can it go in here? It totally can. Okay, so the rabbit can actually come in with this little like crossbreed mix. That's totally cool. All right. Back to the crisper. So we're gonna go ahead and now we have enough of the pigs, enough of the rabbits. We have the full geese, we have the full snake to do more crossbreeds. The snakes are our most popular animal out of all the ones we currently have. So let's do another snake mix and I'm gonna roll the dice to decide, is it gonna be a one or a four for a rabbit, a two or a five for a goose, or a three or a six for a pig mix? It's a pig! 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see how that mix goes. Uh, and then I want more Raboos. <laughs> While we can make them, I kind of want to get more Raboos. Because I love, the Raboos are one of my favorites. What's this? A stealth mission, Cyber War. We want to go into the cosmetics factory and film what's happening with the animal testing there, but we need an excuse to go in. By signing this form, you can back us up by creating a narrative that we are inspecting the area in consideration of supplying more animals to them. Will you help our cause? Um, sign the film to aid filming animal cruelty in the factories. Uh, sure. That I can get behind. All right, and we'll breed another Raboose. All right, I need to make some nice small exhibits that we can put some of these really cool hybrids in, though. Yay, and our monkeys are happy! Actually, probably I should be breeding some of the monkeys instead of... Oh, wow, the bunnies are pregnant. <laughs> Uh, this particular rabbit set, hopefully I can come back after after they're done and we can clear them out. Uh, okay, good! Yay! <gasps> Wait, is that a baby hyena? They had a baby hyena on us, you guys! <laughs> Our hyenas actually had a hyena baby! Wow! And we are expecting another baby! That's fantastic! We're working on the hyena pairs! Yay! Okay, that's good. Wow! All right, I'm actually quite tickled. Holy canoodles, we have 81 research points. Um, all right, between the rabbits, between the hyenas, and between the snakes, I think we're doing a really good. So let me come in, let's check the research points. Let's see if we can just go hog wild with these research points now. Hmm. What do I want to unlock? Ooh, leaf piles! <gasps> Animal enrichment leaf piles, yes please! And now we, oh, in a tropical juice shop. That's perfect. Drink shops satisfy your customer's thirst. So we've unlocked all of the drink shops now. So we can go ahead and add that in. I want the potted plants. Let's unlock that too. And then let's see. Now we have blue and orange floor packs we could do. A water sprinkler for the animals to play with. Yes. Yes. That sounds amazing. Um, let's see. And we can unlock a bunch of the berries to get the farm up and going. Animal enrichment cliffs! Okay, that's really cool. Deco pack zoo sign. Make your park beautiful. Check the heat map for your decoration score. A good variety of items will keep your park's efficiency rating up. Okay, so we definitely need to work on that so we can decorate the place a little bit better. Uh, so on that note, let's unlock the lamp post just to get that done. And we're so close to being able to do the farm processor! Wow, ooh, and here's the cafe. All right, we'll unlock that. Ooh, scratching post. <gasps> Floor pack grass. Allows the, the customers to walk faster. That's exactly what we need. Deco pack colorful. Oh, there's so much cool stuff, you guys. And there's even scratching post for the animals. Oh, geez, and I forgot about the surveillance thing. We need to install that too. Nice, I'm really happy with all of that. You know what, let's continue working on this chunk of space today to make it so that it looks nice when you're walking past this zone. I really sort of love this blend that we've done for a tropical area. However, this is more a spot, um, more a spot for like the conservation research. So I think we'll do the paw prints or just the wooden planks or, <gasps> look at the edged grass. It looks like moss. Okay. Oh my gosh, I love it. You should see my jaw right now. I'm just like jaw on the ground. I'm so in love with this. This is amazing. You have like my whole heart and attention right now. Decorative grass. Oh my gosh, what a glorious day. All right, we'll make this go, whoops. And a nice loop around where the animals go. There we are. All right, sweet. And that actually makes me know, whoops, did not want that there. All right, we'll move the log footpath over one more chunk. And then, lovely, oh, just lovely, magnificent. And actually, I'm gonna come in with deco. What, oh no, my grass. All right, grass and then wood decking, boom so that people can come and see the monkeys from all directions. Oh, I'm so pleased with this grass, you guys. 
<laughs> that even leaves enough room for to sneak in a few shops around here. I wasn't thinking about putting in too many shops, but now that we clearly have the space for some amenities, I feel like we should maybe have an info kiosk. Having an information kiosk that you, in your zoo guarantees that your visitors will stay for longer as they have a better idea of what to see. So I feel like an info kiosk next to where we have like all of our, our conservation efforts and our special like crossbreeding efforts we have is a good thing to do. So we'll put that down. And I sort of feel like having some wind turbines back here would be a good idea just to show off how like we're just trying to be super eco-friendly there. Um, and then what about for more shops, maybe like a little gift stand that could go right here or right here. People are starting to get balloons. The tropical juice stand. You could come and get your tropical juice. Oh, I love it. We'll do a tropical juice right here. Oh, look, somebody wears that miscus in their hair when they work here. That's awesome. Work ethic's really terrible on this person. We'll have to like fix that. All right, and then churro stand. We don't have a churro stand yet, that's true. I feel like another gift stand would be really nice though. Cause here's where you get to like come and learn all about the gifts that people are like all about the gifts of the natural world. Clearly people are gonna want to go ahead and like spend their money on this. All right. And we'll get some more paths put in to all of those places. There we go. All right, I like that. I don't like this part though. Let's, let's swap that out for the new edged grass. That's much nicer. Oh my gosh, I've really gotta clean up the layering that we've done on these paths. There we go. Friends, it looks awesome. I actually feel like we should probably move the gift shop so that we can have um, like some plants over here instead. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I think I need to move the gift shop so we can have some plants because I really want more plants. But I'm happy with this and everything is getting cleaned up. The monkeys are doing well. Let's check on how the breeding progress has been going. Good. Oh, and the monkeys are actually breeding on their own. That's right. Huh, we don't even need to worry about it. What? <gasps> don't be a boar. We could paint one of our pigs to look like a different boar. <laughs> I'm gonna reject it. I really wanna do it, but I'm gonna reject it just cause we're gonna try to be morally good this time. But all right guys, phew. You know what? That was a huge improvement. This is a gigantic improvement to this area. All because we suddenly had a like onrush of monkeys and they needed somewhere to go. So I'm super grateful to them. And we also actually almost are done with moving the graveyard. That's what I was doing when I was interrupted by that flash flood. I was moving the graveyard over and getting it looking nice so that we could go ahead and move our fancy geese down here so we can just have like happy fancy geese populations kind of being decorative for all of the uh, the graveyard area. So we're, we're still sprucing this up. It's been painful to look at this place for so long, I know, but we're making some progress and I'm so relieved about that. So all right, if you guys could, do please leave a like for our amazing monkeys having made all of this possible. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.